Let's take a look at zooming on a T85 uh, calculator. First one we'll look at is x squared minus 5x plus 6. Now its assumption is that you uh, know how to graph on your calculator. If, if you don't, then you should uh, go watch the uh, videos on graphing on a T85. So I'll press my graph button. I'm going to press my, my y equals. I'll press the F1 to access that. Now I can press clear to clear out that line. And then I'm going to do my x bar, then my x squared, minus 5x, so minus 5 and then the x bar, plus 6. And um, I'm going to access the graph here, so I'm going to do exit one time, bring that down, and then I'm going to do F5, because that's the button right below a graph. Now I can tell that it's coming down a little bit below the x-axis, but I can't really tell maybe uh, real close what it's doing. Let's zoom and take a take a closer look at it. So if I press my zoom, the F3, again, the zoom is right here and the button right below it is a, a F3. And it'll pop up with this, and I'm going to choose zoom in. And the button right below that is F2. Now, it's not doing anything. It's waiting for me to um, move my cursor over to where I want to zoom in at. So if I press my right arrow key and move it over by right there. If I do an up arrow, see, that's what the cursor looks like. And I'll have it about right there. Once you get it to where you want, then you press enter one time. And it'll come back zoomed in on where where you uh, position the cursor. Um, now, if it's still in zoom in mode, so if I press enter one more time, it'll zoom in by another factor. Let's see, if I press enter, zoom in by another factor. Each time you press enter, it'll zoom in by another factor. Now, you have to be careful. You wait till it comes back before you press enter again. Like, watch what happens when I press enter. I'll press enter, and be, before wait, I won't wait till it comes back. I'll press enter again. So, enter, enter again. Notice in the upper right hand corner there's four little dots going back and forth. That's gone into Never Never Land. That's not going to come back ever um, until your batteries die and you put new batteries in. Then it'll be back. Um, to get it out of that, you just press Enter one time. Or you can press your On button. Okay, now I've zoomed in so much I can't see anything. To uh, set it back, um, if I do an exit, um, you see, I got, we did just to zoom in. Z standard is how you set it back to your standard viewing window. Now, let's say I don't see this. Somehow, I've, I've closed that menuing down. If I go into graph, well, you just simply go into F3 for zoom. And then you choose Z standard. The button right below it is F4. You shouldn't get used to on a T85 um, memorizing keystrokes or buttons, button pushes. Um, you should get used to working with these menus. That's kind of the, the main idea behind T85. Okay, now um, I'm going to show you another method. I'm going to do an exit. So we're back back to this. You know, we just did our y equals. We um, chose our graph like that. Another uh, zoom is a box. So we're going to go into zoom again. So I'll press F3. And the first one's box. So I do F1. Now it's waiting for us to position our cursor, so I'm going to do an up arrow, and I'll do a left arrow, put my cursor about right there. This is going to be the upper left-hand corner of our box. I'm going to press Enter one time, and it changes from a flashing cursor to a flashing box. Now if I do my down arrow, and I do my right arrow, you see a box being drawn. And that's going to be my lower right-hand corner of my box. So you can you can adjust it however you want, making your box bigger or smaller. Once you get it to the point where you want it, then you press Enter, and it'll zoom in just on what's inside the box. So it goes like that. Now this is an interactive. So you're doing this home. You should have your calculator in your hand. You should be uh, doing these same steps I'm doing. Um... Now I got it zoomed in. I can see it a little bit better there. And don't forget to zoom it back to where the standard viewing window, you want to choose Z standard. And so we see Z standard here. I can press F4. Or if you don't see it, like you've exited out like that, again, you just push, push uh, F3 for zoom. And then Z standard, you do F4. And that sets it back to your standard viewing window. I like zoom box quite a bit. It uh, gives you total control, which which I like with these. 
Okay, let's look at this one. So I'll press graph. I'm going by F1 for the Y equals. I'll press clear to clear that out. Do my X bar, and then I'll push my X squared, minus 400. And um, I'm going to do an exit to bring this menu down. You don't have to. You could have done second uh, F5. But uh, graph, the button right below it is F5. And we don't see anything. Well, let's see a little bit here at the tips, maybe. So I think that's a flaw with the, this emulator. Um, I don't remember my T85 I've ever seen something like that, but maybe. Um, anyway, I don't see it. I can choose zoom, choose F3, and there's a zoom out, and the button right below that is F3. Now again, it's waiting for me to position my cursor where I want to zoom out at, and the origin's fine, so I just go ahead and press enter one time. And then you see it uh, zoom out. Now, we're still in zoom out mode, so each time I press enter, it'll zoom out by another factor. But you can switch to a different zooming. If I press the exit, I can now go to the box. So I press F1, and I'm going to move my cursor over closer to or my upper left-hand corner, so closer to this intercept. I'll put it right there, and I press enter one time. Press my down arrow. Now, if you're wondering, oops. If you're wondering uh, how I got it to go over so fast, you don't have to keep pressing it over and over. You can just simply hold down on the button. Like I hold down on the right arrow key, and you see it goes clear over there. Now that we can see both of our x-intercepts, I'm drawing a box around it, so it'll zoom in just on those. So I press enter on that, and it'll zoom in and zoom in like that. And again, don't forget... To set that back um, to your standard viewing window, you press uh, Zoom Standard, you press F4. Um, I'm going to do an exit. There's, uh, See this uh, little um, triangle here? It means there's more. Press the More button. It'll go over Z Fit, Z Square, Z Trig, Z Decimal, M, uh, Z Recall, I'm assuming. Z fact, zoom x, zoom y, z intercept, or z integer, zoom integer, z zoom store, I believe. And then we're back to our, our main menu. Anyway, I'll press on uh, exit, bring that down. Now, if I go into the range, I press the F2 to go in here. You can manually set these. So I can have it go from negative 20, enter, then 20, enter. And the X scale, that's the tick marks you see on the, the X axis. I could have that go by fives. And I could change these other ones too. But um, that's, that's fine right there. Now if I go over here to graph, this far left tick mark is negative 20. This far right tick mark is positive 20. It goes by fives. Negative 20, negative 15, negative 10, negative 5, 0, so forth. Um, this can be dangerous. Let me go back in the range. I'll do F2. And let me put 30 here instead. Let's see if this gives us an error if I do graph. Error 20 graph range. And just quit is all it uh, gives you. So quits out. And you think, well, that's weird. And go back into your graph. You try it again. It won't fix itself. To fix any zooming error, zooming issues, or range issues, you press your zoom, press F3, and you go back to Z standard. So I try, press F4. That fixes any of those those issues that come up with that. And that's uh, zooming on a T85 calculator.